Good afternoon, Cindy from Tripsy Travel Agency. I am live from my kitchen this afternoon because we are working overtime to bring you all the great information. We're a little behind on all the reviews that we promised for the Disney resorts that we stayed at recently. So I wanted to talk to you tonight about Kendani Village which is a fantastic property. It's a little more quiet and reserved uh, compared to Animal Kingdom Lodge or Jumbo House if you stayed there. Um, and there are some differences and we're gonna talk a little bit about that. So, but first I wanna talk about the unit. We were in a two bedroom, three full bathroom unit. So we had plenty of space to spread out. The kids had their own room. Um, literally three TVs in the unit, three full bathrooms in the unit, and it could sleep let's see, four in the kids' room, two in ours, six, seven, eight, easily, because there was a flip-out uh, sofa bed as well. So definitely a large, spacious unit. Probably my favorite part was the master bathroom. They have a lovely area space in the master bathroom, large soaking tub, separate shower, fantastic water pressure, and the soaking tub, I just have to say for a second, if you're spending long days in the park or you have issues with your legs or your back, this is a this resort is a good choice for you because it's it's an oversized bath uh, soaking tub. So if you need to just throw some Epsom salt in and get rejuvenated for the next day, this would definitely be a good fit for you. Now, in terms of the differences between the two properties, and, and keep in mind it's it's one complex, if you will. There's Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is where the main lobby is, the main restaurants, a very large gift shop. Attached to Animal Kingdom Lodge is Jumbo House, which traditionally is Disney Vacation Club units, but you can rent them as well. And then there's Kendani Village, which is also originally Disney Vacation Club, but those can be rented uh, if you're not Disney Vacation Club as well. They're on the same property, but you have to walk a little bit to get to the main lobby at Animal Kingdom Lodge, or you can take a shuttle. It comes about every five or 10 minutes or so, and it will actually drive you over. And you might think, oh, wow, that's kind of crazy. You know, how far away is it? Well, can that, the units are kind of built in almost like an M shape in terms of all the units for the properties. So if you're on the far end of Kendani, you may very well have to walk a long way just to get to the lobby in Kendani because they have their own lobby there and then you can shuttle over or we were on the other end so we walked most of the time back and forth. Keep in mind you have access to all the amenities they have over at Animal Kingdom Lodge but you do have to walk to get there and that's something that for my clients unless they're looking for reserved, quiet, you know, property that might be a perfect fit for Kendani Village but I really like the amenities better and they're more convenient and more accessible over at Animal Kingdom Lodge and Jumbo House. So just keep that in mind if you do have a choice. Now keep in, sometimes they do book up so you don't have a choice. It's still a lovely property. The views are amazing no matter which one you're at. Kendani Village, when you walk in, they have a little bit of a smaller lobby, but it's still pretty grand and it has a view of the savannah and on both ends of the lobby, there's an um, observation area. So if your room's not ready, you can go hang out there and they have nice, comfortable chairs. They have a large uh, lanai area or balcony area where you can walk outside and they have rocking chairs out there so you and your kids can watch the animals. They even have neat little cards that tell you all the different birds and animals that they have on the savannah so they can actually tour. I think it would be neat to get your kids some binoculars, maybe some little cheapo ones, just for them to practice. They have them in the gift shop too, but if you bring your own, they can get right to that animal uh, observing straight away. So that's kind of neat. They also have a nice area down on the first floor that will take you out to um, where they have a fire pit in the evenings and they have rocking chairs around. So that's a nice area to just relax in the evenings. It's very quiet. Kendani particularly is, is quieter than Animal Kingdom. Now a couple of the other differences you really should know about, um, if I'm your travel agent I'm going to make sure to tell you, <laughs> particularly if, you stayed, if you've stayed at Disney before, the quick service is a little bit different. If you're on the Disney dining plan or you've used the Disney dining plan, you know you get these fantastic little refillable mugs when you purchase the dining plan. And all through the Disney resorts, they have drink stations set up, and, and traditionally those are in the quick service restaurants or areas. But because Kendani doesn't have an all day quick service area, they've kind of carved out a drink station in the gift shop in the main lobby, which I thought was a little strange. <laughs> Maybe I'm spoiled, but I'm just used to a little bit of a different setup. 
um, both as a regular Disney hotel guest and as a Disney vacation club owner. So just know that going in. Now, the flip side of that is Sana is one of their table service restaurants and even if you, regardless of whichever property you stay at, definitely go to Sana and get the bread service, which is basically a bunch of different breads with a whole bunch of different dipping sauces. I didn't get to try it while I was there, but my colleague Tana did and she said it was amazing. And I talked to a couple other travel agents that were there and they said it was fantastic. So try that, that's a great tip for you. Um, but what they do with sauna is they turn it into a quick service breakfast for mornings only. When we were there, it was only seven to 10, check the hours that could change. But if you weren't there by 10 o'clock, it was quick service was over and you had to go all the way over to Animal Kingdom Lodge to the regular quick service to get any type of meal. But I will say this for the mornings, we made it there in time you're not gonna get a better view. That you basically order your food and they bring it to your table, so it kind of felt like table service. I had a nice um, Belgian waffle with chai uh, whipped cream, which was amazing. I had it two times <laughs> while we were there. And they had egg croissant sandwiches, which my husband really enjoyed, and great selections for the kids as well. And the best part about it was, the view is right on the savanna, so we had zebras walking by as we were eating our breakfast, and that was amazing. So it's kind of a little bit of a, a trade-off um, where that's concerned. So overall, great stay at the Gandani Village. You always get amazing perks whenever you stay on Disney property. I have another video that I actually filmed on the balcony of that uh, observatory that I was talking about that tells you about all the great features when you stay on Disney property. So definitely check that out as well. If you need help with your Disney vacation, whether you want to stay at Kandani Village, Animal Kingdom, or any of the Disney properties, we have toured every Disney property and we have all the information you need to really put a magical vacation together. And we'd love to help you at Tripsy Travel. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for traveling with Tripsy. Bye, Tripsters!